excuse my crustiness and the hair situation. I have just woken up this second, but I thought I would film a little weekly vlog this week. Um, oh my God, my hair. I'm not sure whether this is something that anybody will actually want to watch, but I'm not gonna know unless I try. So if it is, I'll just start doing these all the time. But I am currently, it's half seven and I'm just packing up these orders. So if you don't know, I basically have a vegan dessert business and these are some orders. These are to go out online and then these are to drop off at a cafe. They're like vegan Snickers slices and they're absolutely divine if I do say so myself. But that is about it for now. I'm also having a cup of tea which kind of tastes like oh, so I'm being honest with you, it's really not good. And I'm speaking quietly because it's very early and people are still in bed. But yeah, I'll just take you with me this week and we'll see what we get up to. Well, this cup of tea really tastes like shit. I don't know what I did to a cup of tea to make it taste like shit, but I'm drinking it anyway. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look like you were doing a dick spin. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, show the people what they want to see. That peanut butter is trash, though. Is that enough? Is that just for one slice? Yes. Well, it is. It is trash, but I mean, it is. What is it? Ninety-five percent peanut. So how, how much trash could it be? It's pretty darn good to me. That just looks like Clag City. Well, Please then. have a glass of. Oh my, Jamie. What? That can't be real. <laughs> no wonder you go through a tub of peanut butter in four days. Have you seen Game Changers? All the protein in the peanuts. You need steak when you've got peanut butter. My vegan king. N U T E L L A. What's that spell? Peanut, peanut butter! butter. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna put some new products on my Etsy store this week for Mother's Day and I'm just gonna test the recipe. How rude. I'm just gonna test the recipe for them. That's what I'm gonna do now. I won't show you me making them because the recipe is a secret, but I will show you the finished product later. I'll also have to test them later, like eat them to make sure they actually taste good, which is always a good thing. That's definitely the best part about having a dessert business is getting to eat all the tester recipes and the leftovers. It's just a wonderful time. I have to leave in a sec, but I am just, wow, this light is annoying. It's just, it's just gonna have to happen. I have to leave in a sec, but I've just made a quick protein smoothie. It's like a chocolate almond butter smoothie. It's delicious. Mm, it's so good. But I'm just gonna make myself look a bit more presentable to go and drop these orders off because I'm looking a bit like a scruff at the minute. So I'm just gonna put a bit of concealer, a bit of bronzer on there, you know, make myself look less crusty and then today i just have quite a lot of worky stuff to do i have come to learn that i really like to be busy and don't get me wrong i love now and then having a day where i just don't have to do anything we all need days like that but for the most part i do like to be busy and have lots of things to do bronzer truly saves my life i am the palest girl in the world and it makes me look a lot more alive and less like a sickly Victorian child. And there we are. Let's go deliver the goods. I have just stocked up on many, many boxes of Medjool Day. It's definitely should have brought a bag. <laughs> okay, so I have finished baking my orders for the day and I've just made a recipe to put on my Instagram account. And oh my God, look at these. They're like white chocolate almond crunch bars. They are so, so unbelievably good. They are stunning. Oh my goodness me. The recipe will be on my Instagram, I think, by the time this goes up. Very, 
very gorgeous i've just had some lunch it was just some leftovers and now i'm gonna do a quick little workout i was gonna go to the gym with my boyfriend later i sometimes go to his gym with him but i really can't be asked to leave the house to exercise so i'm just gonna do a workout on my laptop i've just picked a strength based workout i'm trying to build up a bit more strength so i've been focusing more on weighted workouts as far as a workout routine i don't really have one i kind of just like to listen to my body and do what sounds fun on the day instead of trying to stick to a really rigid routine that doesn't really work for me and i think exercise is so personal and to really enjoy it and be consistent with it you have to find what works for you and for me that's kind of just seeing what i fancy doing on the day I don't really have a workout routine as such i try to exercise like four or five times a week but that massively depends on how busy I am with work and how tired my body is, stuff like that. I really just like to be intuitive with it and listen to the bod, you know what I mean? Anyway, stop blabbering on Ellie, let's do a little workout. That was fun. I like. Hi, I am sat just cuddling my gorgeous doggy, and I'm just gonna chill out for a bit before dinner. I've been standing up all day and I need to sit down for a considerable portion of time. <laughs> you are just so gorgeous. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, I'm that person that lets their dog lick their mouth. Get over it. <laughs> also, look at the flowers that Jamie got me because I was sat the other day. How gorgeous are they? He bought them separately, like the three flowers, and put them together. They're so. Gorgeous. So for dinner, I'm having pesto tofu, rice, roasted veg, salad type situation. And Jamie is having Four vegan hot dogs. Oh, here come the crispy onions. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Best part of the day, dessert time. And these are the sample desserts that I made today. So it's time to taste them. They look, if I do say so myself, really fucking good. So it's like a biscuity base, a date, peanut butter caramel topped with vegan white chocolate. Yummy. Oh, I'm excited. Mmm, very delicious. Verdict? Probable. Morning. I am trying to drink more water as soon as I wake up. This morning I have some more orders to do, some Etsy orders to post out. And then after that, I have some more worky, more admin-y stuff to do. I'm gonna get all that done and then see what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. But yeah, I have quite a lot of orders on at the minute, which I'm very grateful for and happy about. So yeah, I'm gonna get baking. So I'm just taking pictures of the Mother's Day boxes for my Etsy and look how adorable, please. So it's like a white chocolate caramel slice, a raspberry 
peanut butter cup, an almond butter cup, a vegan Snickers, and some little chockies. It's so cute. So this will be on my Etsy by the time this goes up, I think. So, you know, if you want to treat your mama, shameless plug, yum. Hi, I've started my period, which explains why I've been feeling like utter shit for the past week or so. But I've just been lying here for a very long time. So I'm going to move now and go in the shower and wash my hair. It's a mess. But yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting weekly vlog if I'm on my period because my periods are intense. They're really bad. Um, so we will see what this week now entails now that mother nature has gate crashed. I'm showered, I feel refreshed, replenished. Clean, delicious. I'm gonna do a bit of skincare hair care, so I'll show you. I use these products at the minute. They're from a brand called Fushi, and it's all vegan, gluten free stuff and gluten free stuff. I have blabbered on about them in loads of my videos. I really love their products. And this is just argan oil. I'm trying to use more natural stuff on my hair because I'm trying to get the natural curl back. Do a wee bit of a scrunchy scrunch. I'm gonna put some of this on. This is a radiance face oil. Makes your skin feel so nice. You don't need much because you don't want to be too oily. There we go. It's amazing what a shower can do for you. Just makes you feel so much better. I'm sat with Bo. I don't know if you can see her, she's kind of in the darkness. And I fancied a sweet lunch. My appetite when I'm on my period is very, very weird. I can only handle the thought of eating a very... <laughs> Bo! Basically, I the first few days of my period, I don't fancy a lot of foods. Um, so I will. You're gonna sit there, are you? You're gonna sit there. Basically, for lunch, I fancied something sweet, and I fancied some coconut yogurt with granola, berries, almond butter. It's delicious. So hi, I have my hot water bottle for the period cramps. But what I like to do at the beginning of the week, and I didn't do it yesterday. I have this weekly planner, so I just write down the main things that I have to do. If I don't get it all done, it's fine, you know, we're only human. But as long as I get the most important things done, then it just helps me keep my brain in order because I have so many different things to do all the time that writing it down is the only way for me to make sure that I actually get it done. But this saves my damn life, I swear to God, if it wasn't for this. Don't even talk to me. So I'm just gonna fill in what I need to do for the rest of the week. And it's so satisfying when you get to tick things off. I know I sound like a fucking loser when I say that, but it is honestly so satisfying. At the end of the day, being able to tick off everything you've done. I know that's embarrassing, but it, it satisfies my soul, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna fill this in like the organization freak that I am. So that is done. Now that it's also period week, whether all of this actually gets done is to be seen because I function at half my normal ability when I'm on my period, but we will see. Definitely recommend getting one of these if you are like me and have a very scrambled brain. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make dinner and I have the other half of that tofu block that I had last night and also a little bit of the rice left. So I'm just gonna make the same kind of thing to be honest because my brain isn't working properly. I can't be bothered to put much effort into my dinner and it was very tasty. Hello. Hello. because everyone else is still in bed because it is 6 30 in the morning my period pains are fucking horrific they woke me up like four times in the night they're so bad i see myself lying horizontally for most of today it is a bad bad heavy period i have some orders to take to the post office today about four orders i also need to do my eyebrows I tint and wax my own eyebrows and they're so bad. 
the bags under my eyes. Chanel darling, I will see you when I'm doing something other than this. <laughs> I'm starving, but the thought of eating most things is making me feel sick. So I'm just making another coconut yogurt bowl. It needs granola, one second. This is my favorite granola. It's so good. It's got a really unique taste to it. And I can never put my finger on what it is, but it's so good. Try it. That is like a visual representation of my brain when I'm on my period. A big old mess. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, Feminax to the rescue. Hopefully, probably not. These don't really work, do they? But I'm gonna get semi-ready, very minimal amount of ready, and then go to the shops with my mom because I need some more ingredients and I just wanna take my mind. I don't know why I'm sat in the sun like this. I just wanna take my mind off this excruciating period pain. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Comfy vibes and comfy vibes only when I am on my period. The black for far because it's cold outside today. And the scarfy scarf. I'm getting as much use out of this scarf as I can before the weather gets warmer. And it's not scarf weather anymore because I love it. Um, I think I'm gonna have a look in the charity shops because I really want some really baggy low rise cargo pants, but I don't wanna spend like 60 pound on them. So I'm gonna try and find some second hand. Yeah, let's go. Let's power through the day. Even though I feel like a corpse. Hi, I'm home. Charity shopping was a big fat fail. I tried a few pairs of cargo pants on, but they just were not it. But I'm back home and I have a sudden burst of energy very mild burst of energy, but I'm gonna grab it while I can and I'm gonna prep some dinner for tonight. I fancy some jackfruit. So I don't really know what vibe I'm going for with it. I've only cooked it a few times. I'm just gonna kind of throw some spices in there and hopefully it'll be nice. as soon as I finished making dinner but how good was it 10 out of 10 it was a 10 out of 10 it was so good it would be really good in a wrap with nachos it would be really good what else would say it be good with Na anything very versatile burrito I'm gonna have something sweet because I need something sweet anyway definitely need something sweet when I'm on my period I'm gonna have one of these homemade brownie batter bowls that I keep in the freezer and if you heat it up in the microwave it goes all gooey, like a warm brownie. It's delicious. Oh, I have to be up at six. 
then you know you're not going back to sleep. You're up fucking yep. three hours. Good morning. Wow, she's actually dressed and has some makeup on and doesn't look like a rotting corpse. It's a miracle. I feel so much better today. Have some of my energy back. Period pains are gone for now, so it's a wonderful time. I've just been packaging up some more orders to post and also an order to drop off at that cafe that I dropped some stuff off at the other day. For the rest of the day, I am not really sure. I have some more orders to do later. I feel like I've picked the worst week to do a weekly vlog. I have been on my period and have just been working the entire time, but I do do fun things sometimes, I swear. But this week has just been particularly busy, but it's meant to be realistic and this is my reality at the minute, lots of work. But yeah, I will let you know when I'm doing something. Hi, so I'm gonna go drop those orders off and then I'm gonna go for lunch with my mom, which I'm very excited for because I'm in the mood for a nice little, nice little dish, a well-prepared, delicious dish. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I just want some nice food, so I'm excited for that. So let's go. You know they're good when you um when they're not watery. Often when it's having a watery mushroom on your plate. Are they meaty? They're meaty. Hi, it's the evening now. I haven't filmed all day because guess what? I came home and baked more orders, so didn't film that. But I am now having my dinner, I'm having roasted tofu, asparagus, peppers, sweet potato, sriracha mayo, tahini. Basically just a big bowl of potato, tofu and vegetables. Very delicious. And I have a night to myself tonight because Jamie is with his dad watching the match, the football match. So I'm gonna eat this, watch Sex and the City because Sex and the City, the series, is just the best and most comforting program in the entire world. I just love it so much. I've watched every episode at least 30 times and I love it just the same every time. That sounds like a pretty good night to me. Period pains have returned a little bit so I've got my trusty hot water bowl. I will see you at some point. Yum. Another day, another dollar, baby. Let's get baking. But I should be done by about 10 or 11, and then I'm gonna sit and do fuck all. <laughs> Okay, so we're pretty much done for now. We've got three, these are vegan, everything's vegan. Chocolate and hazelnut cheesecakes. These are chocolate tarts that are gonna be topped with caramel later once they're set. Coconut loaves, which need to be topped with jam. And these are the star of the show. These are peanut butter blondies and they are absolutely sublime. We are done for now.
So I've just been in the shower. I just did a little workout. Sometimes I like to follow a workout video on YouTube and sometimes I just kind of like to do my own thing and make it up as I go along. So I just did some skipping and some light weights and I just had the nicest hot shower ever. You know when some showers are just boiling hot, you need a good clean and it's just one of the most satisfying, delicious things ever. And I feel replenished Put a face oil on i get to sit down for the rest of the day which i'm very 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 extremely happy about because i'm sick of standing up <laughs> hello it's the next day i stopped filming yesterday because i don't know why my why am i in this position um i did not do anything last night i did the exact same thing as the night before i ate my dinner and watched sex in the city so but you'll notice i am significantly more orange than the last time you saw me because i am going out tonight so i fake tanned last night and still haven't washed it off so very orange but me and jamie are gonna go through and post an order at the post office and then I saw a coat in a charity shop the other day and I didn't get it and I haven't stopped thinking about it so I'm gonna go back and see if it's there. It's like a vintage faux leather long oversized coat and it was bloody gorgeous and I didn't get it and really really regret it so let's hope and pray that it's still there waiting for me on its hanger saying Ellie, Ellie take me home with you and then me and Jimmy are going out tonight to see our friends band. So yeah, actually doing something today. I've just been working all week, but today we're actually doing something. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hi, I have something on my face and I don't know what it is, so um, kindly ignore, but I got my coat. Nobody took it before I went and got it, so rejoice, you'll see it when I wear it tonight. I'm just having a little salad, it's like a potato pea pesto salad, very delicious. And I can't be asked to do anything before me and Jamie go out, to be honest, so I'm just watching YouTube videos and he's playing... What are you playing? The Witcher. Horizon. Horizon. I don't know what that means. Some kind of medieval thing. Yeah, very happy about my coat. Hi, so I'm just getting ready. I've done my makeup and I'm just gonna do my hair. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a curl. My God, imagine if I just, imagine if I just left it like this. I'm gonna do my hair and then I have the cutest outfit to wear. It's like a red animal print two-piece type situation. So I will show you the finished product. Okay, so hair is done. A considerable improvement. And now for the outfit. Okay, you gonna be able to see how cute. So it's like a maxi midi skirt type thing and matching top and the material of this is incredible it's like a really slinky material and then the top is mesh at the back i love it so much i've been waiting to wear this for like two months and i haven't had anywhere appropriate to wear it um i love it this is the jacket that i got from the charity shop today i i'm obsessed so yeah this is the outfit and i will Probably just wear this with some black converse. A casual event, you know what I mean? I need to be able to dance in my shoesies. We're gonna head off soon, get the bus through to town, and I will see you tomorrow when I am most likely, incredibly, hungover. <laughs> Bye. Well, I fell asleep with my makeup on, which I feel, oh my god, I look so bad. I fell asleep with my makeup on, which I feel is always a sign of a good night. In the same breath, get this off my face. 
immediately better. I've also had my morning hangover poo, <laughs> so we're feeling okay. Hi, I'm not gonna lie. I have not picked up the camera once today since this morning and it's now half four because I am very, very hungover. I actually don't feel too bad. I don't feel sick, which is good because I hate nothing more. That was my dog. I hate nothing more than throwing up, which nobody likes to throw up, but you know what I mean? I'm just glad I don't feel sick. I just feel very tired, very crusty. I've eaten some nice food today, actually. I've filmed it for TikTok, like what I eat in a day, so you can go there and watch it if you want. And then tonight I'm choosing between poke bowl and pizza, homemade pizza. And then I have lots of leftover desserts in the freezer, which is always good because I'm definitely not mentally capable of making a dessert today. Okay, let's make poke bowls. Kill me. <laughs> That looks mighty fine. I feel like the pineapple, I charred it. I look at a corpse today, like a true, oh, well, like I've been dug up. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Mmm, oh, oh. try the pineapple. Mmm, the pineapple's so nice, I should, should have done more. So good. So for dessert, I've decided to make them look cute and pretty as if we're at a restaurant because why not? I have gone for a Snickers and Jamie has gone for the white chocolate caramel slice. <laughs> 